Hello and welcome back to this Kvyat Karimo. This is episode 10, round 11. More on that uh, right now, actually, because I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, recorded Hungary, did the commentary of Hungary. Only problem being that midway through the recording, um, without me knowing, I had actually hit my mic so bad that it stopped working for an hour. So my audacity fell from about 35 minutes to... However, it was an hour and 16 was silent, so I just thought, oh, it's okay, I'll just do it over the top, because the uh, file ended up not wanting to save, so I just said, okay, I'll just edit it, do the thing over the top, did the commentary over the top, went to render it, every time it got to, I think it was the third stop, and it would, the third pit stop, and it just would go like, green screen, graphics card would crash, computer would crash, and that happened about six times. So, news for that. Rosberg won, Hamilton came second, we came third. That's all that you need to know. Nothing else of any interest happened. So with that being said, welcome to Belgium, where we are going to try and get a win. I want to actually get a win on this track, because I do like this track a lot, but I don't know if the Red Bull is capable of it. But we'll find out when we head into practice right about now. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, they've patched this in. Oh, I'm doing full qualifying then. Yeah. Welcome F1 fans, it's Friday morning here in Belgium and hopefully we'll be seeing some on-track action soon as the teams prepare for today's practice session. Spa is such a wonderful track and it's a circuit that the drivers love to race on. But it's also quite challenging, so we should expect to see a number of cars struggle to get up to speed here today. Yes, there are many aspects to Spa that keep yes. the drivers and teams thinking. Unpredictable weather, long straights and fast corners, as well as the rise in elevation up to Eau Rouge. All these make Spa one of the prized locations in the Formula 1 calendar. What kind of setup will drivers be looking for around here? It's got a fair Why mixture of demanding He's corners. Seven, thank is food. it all about finding the sweet spot in handling balance? It's easy to make your car quick in a straight line, you just take all the downforce off. But when it comes to a track like this, you really need a bit more of a compromise. The main focus here is carrying speed through the fast flowing corners, but you still don't want to be a sitting duck on the straight. Nah, I'm just going to take all the wing off and just go with it. Thanks, Anthony Davidson, for being completely useless as always. And, um, yeah, anyway, we're going to do a setup thing now, and I will talk about events and stuff. So, what you may have noticed is that over the last few days, um, well, we've, uploads have been, no other word of short of it, other than abysmal. And the person to blame for that, and the thing to blame for that, is 100% me. Um, I'm being, I've got very inconsistent recently, and I do apologize for that. So, I am very sorry for being so inconsistent. I'm trying to get back on it, and when I got back on it for Raw, I recorded Raw on Sunday, ready to go up on Monday, and my internet didn't work. So, I'm not getting it very lucky, uh, at all. So, sorry for the inconsistency, I'm trying to sort it out, but it's just difficult at some points. Anyway, um... Shut up, Jeff! I'm talking! Anyway, yes, uh, so sorry about the inconsistency. I'll try and get it sorted out. I don't imagine SummerSlam will be up on day just for the Universe fans. Because, um, I'm just imagining my internet's gonna be like that. But anyway, yeah, I'll try my best to get them all up in time. Because I am recording them ahead of schedule. And with that being said, I'm now gonna go do practice and drive around on the track for a bit. So, I'll see you for qualifying. Daniel Ricciardo has finished today's practice session in P1. It's a great result and it bodes well for tomorrow's qualifying. Why did they all go on to options again and why is Dan uh, David Croft talking about Daniel Ricciardo going P1? He's 11th. Oh god, I don't feel confident about this race at all. Now forget the win. Um, uh, top 5. 5th. We'll go for 5th again. Oh god, we're screwed. Welcome to qualifying here in Belgium, where the cars will shortly be going out on track and trying to set the fastest lap time on the wonderful Spa circuit. Spa is always a difficult track to predict who will do well at, but after the last few years, it's been a mix of Red Bull, McLaren and Ferrari drivers that have excelled. Well, Ferrari have had 16 wins here over the years, but today, I'd probably give the advantage to Red Bull. <laughs> They're always able to pull off something special here. Wow, Anthony Davidson, are you off your tits? Oh my god, he's dumb. Right, um, so this is the first time we've been able to do three sessions before. However, you're just going to see the final session because I imagine that's how far we're going to get. And I'll do one lap wonders because I'm, I'm in a rush. Why did I do long qualifying if I'm in a rush? 
Why am I so stupid? Coming up to the line, second time round. Oh, 148.5. Nice, I don't think we're going to be able to get much more out of it. Let's, uh. Nah, I want to save these tires for the race. So let's just retire and see what happens. That's the end of qualifying, and it's the Russian driver, Daniel Kvyat, that was able to pull out an amazing time to finish top of the timesheets and in P1. Well, it's a great result for the team, and one that we were expecting from them. Tomorrow, they'll be expecting both cars on the podium if it all goes to plan. Anthony Davidson, they're not going to get both cars on the podium here. Ricardo's down at 12th. So, yeah, very odd. Rosberg 4th, Hamilton 7th, Marcus Ericsson in 8th. I don't know, but very interesting grid, and, um, well, it's going to line up for what I believe, what I hopefully think will be an interesting race. We'll see what happens. Welcome to the Circuit de spa Francorchamps, which is the location for today's race. The cars are out on the grid, so let's join the action on the track. Daniel Kvyat will be looking to take advantage of starting on the clean side of the track and hold position into and out of turn one. He starts from the front. Will it last? It really was a great performance from him yesterday, and I think he'll be feeling very confident that he can push on and win today's race. Unless he has car trouble or a bit of bad luck, he should be untouchable. He's stuck with Nico me driving won the him. last race with a performance that Toto Wolff called a drive of true class. He seems really at home in this Mercedes team, and it's from that platform that he's able to put in these great performances. Nico certainly had the edge over Lewis last time out, and he'll want to put one over on his teammate again today. Don't underestimate the mind games that are going on between these pair as they battle it out for supremacy. Well, I mean, they better not forget me. I, I am third. Anyway, two stop, so option prime option. Not bad. All right. No need to wait. Here we go. Building up to the lights. Here we go. Five lights. Lights down. Away we go. Trying to cut off to the left to defend against Vettel. That's gone well. Actually kept Vettel behind us. Rosberg's had a tremendous start. Now he's heading to turn one. Gotta try and make contact with no one. That's gone well. Out of the first turn, everything's looking fine and dandy. My headphones are up way too loud, so I can't hear a single thing outside right there. There we go. That's nice. That's nicer. Coming up through a Rouge now. Rosberg right up the chuff. He's had a great start. And he's trying to get it. Oh my god, that's very go karty. Vettel firing through. Past us both, Vettel into P1. What can we do through here? Can we get him? Round the outside. This is very Hamilton and Rosberg from last year. Aside from the fact that I don't even know where Vettel is. There he is. He's pulled out wide. And we're still about... And we retain P1. Rosberg just behind us. Bottas, I think, in fourth. Raikkonen down in fifth. I have no clue where Hamilton is. But that was a very hectic start. And now we just need to... Now we, now we just need to try and keep this lead for as long as we can. Before tie away kicks in and everything goes to shit. Everything's going to shit really fast. I can see Rosberg up in our ring mirrors. And I think that's Vettel behind him as well. Oh, we've got to defend him heading into the bus stop chicane. Oh, Rosberg trying to come around the outside. He's got the later break. He's got the inside line for the exit. Can he hold on to P1? No, just about kept it. This has been an amazing race so far. I mean, it's only been one lap and it's... That's a, it's a lot of fun. Missed the breaking point in turn one. The exit wasn't that good either. Shut up, Jeff. I'm busy. Oh, Rosberg coming up the inside. Into our route. Don't make contact. Flat out. Let's see if we can get in a slipstream off the exit. Oh, he's a, we both had quite good exits. Vettel's just behind us. He's looking for a double overtake. He's pushed me out of the slipstream line. Got to try and slot right in. Vettel looking to overtake Rosberg. Down into P we're down in P3 right now. We've made slight contact with Rosberg. Oops. And we're up into P2. Sorry about that, Nico. Oh, we're in the gravel as well. So it looks like we didn't wait for Ty away for our lead to go to shit. It just disappeared. Damn it. Oh, shit. Well, he's gone. Oh, that's Hamilton behind us. Can't wait. Oh, nice, nice. Nice line there. Oh, okay, he had a very good exit, actually. Oh, this is wheel to wheel again, but holding him on the outside. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Very nice. It was far from it, and the tire wear is really starting to kick in now, so uh, making it to lap 8 might be a problem. 
But then again, with the Prime Stint second, eh, I could say we could get like 8 9 laps out of them. Shouldn't be too bad. Everything's feeling okay right now, which is weird. I mean, second place right now isn't looking that good, and Vettel's currently lapping like a second and a half a lap faster, but things are feeling okay. Aside from the tires, they, they feel like shit. Here comes Kimmy. There goes Kimmy. Keeping it in behind him. Waiting. Waiting. Dirty eight. Destroying my tires. Don't give a toss. 1P2! Thank you. God, that was late. Apparently... Oh, there's Hamilton. Whoa! Okay. Problems arose. No, no, no. Hamilton up the inside. Can't stop him. Got to leave him space as well. Oh, come on. Crashed into my wing mirror full. Ah, oh, she's going to get the DRS up our rouge. Yeah, and he's going to overtake me before it as well. Into our rouge. Side by side stuff. Keeping it on the inside. Hoo hoo hoo. This is close. And now it won't be. Here comes everyone. Oh, Hamilton's been stuck in like a. Hamilton tried to use our slipstream, got stuck in it, and got like boxed in, and what have I just done? Wow. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, come on. Are you kidding me? Nico is so far down. We're down into sixth. Ah, oh, this is atrocious. Fifth place right now, all because of a, a slightly, well, a very bad overtake. Ah, oh, I feel, oh, this just isn't going to go our way now. I can see him up the inside again. Wheel bang in. Retaining the place. These tires are not going to last eight laps at all. Wow, they feel like shit. Frostburg's getting really impatient. He's like a wasp that's been pissed off behind me. Here he comes. Bust up chicane. He's going to look for it. He's got it much easier. We have to break so much later because of our destroyed tires. Can we get him back on the inside? Push him off the track a little bit. He's got... Oh, no, we've got the DRS. Getting a slipstream. Come on, we need this. We need fifth place back. There's Massa. Get him. Oh, that is beautifully done. Thank you, Rosberg, for going a million miles wide. Yes, I know, Jeff. Thank you. Oh, no, here comes Massa. Yep, going to go on the grass. He's going to get DRS as well. Are we still in rich? Yeah. Can I just stick it behind him? Master, no! No, 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 no. Can't be overtaken by Rosberg. Oh, shit. I think we may have to pit this lap as well. The tyres are... Oh, wow, what was that? The tyres are com completely worn. Yeah, I'm going to have to box. I can hardly feel the tyres and we're just doing that. I am so sorry, Master. And I feel even worse because he's down to seven. The Rosberg's overtaking us both. Oops. Sorry, Nico. I literally have no grip left in these tires. I, oh, like, I can't watch anything. I'm just watching my... Go uh, we're going wide. Can you watch that, Jeff? The inside, maybe. No. No, I can't get him on the outside. Just This is just understeer central. Uh, seventh place. Still some points. It's shit is what it is, but maybe this pit stop can help us. Seven to sixteen? That's asking quite a lot. Seven to fifteen maybe, I don't know. We'll see what we can manage. Now right, here we go. I've informed them unboxing, so they better get me ready. Oh, Rosberg's going in as well. He must have had... I don't know if he caught his front wing on something, or... He may have when we collided. But here we go. We're all in the pits. Like, a, uh, me and Rosberg in the pits. It's like a gaggle heading in you. Hitting. 2.4. Rosberg's ahead of us. Not shocking there. Two point I don't know why I was just thinking about 2.4 again. He's had so much better off the pit stop than us as well off the pit stop exit. 
We're in 16th. We've got Will Stevens behind us. And I'm guessing the McLaren Hondas as well. So Nico, like everyone usually does, is going option, option, prime. So, so provided we can save some fuel in this stage, we're going to do well, I think. We're supposed to go to lap 15 on these tyres as well. I think that's... Wow. Wow. Okay, that... Jesus, that is a lot of understeer. Like, holy hell balls. Can these tyres warm up faster as well? Because, I mean, yes, Rosberg's on the... Shit, Rosberg's on the faster tyre, so, you know, want to try and keep close to him while I still can. Alright, there's Massa. So, Rosberg's really jumped Massa. We're just behind him. That's not too bad. We're going to get the DRS of him as well, heading into a Rouge. So, 7th place is looking on the charts. Just got to keep it behind him. Keep it smooth. DRS. Trying to actually overtake him on the prime tyre isn't that easy. We'll get him in this corner. Colder tyres means he has to brake earlier. Not too shabby. Um, what's going on? Why is there yellows? Oh, we got a Marussia. And he must have taken... And I think the Marussia... Let's have a look. To the replay cam. What happened? Oh, Jesus! Okay, so we've got... That's... Okay, that's Bottas. I can tell that. Bottas has spun out. Okay. Him and a Marussia have been tangled. His tyres are shredded. And that's the last we see of Valtteri Bottas. And, uh... Daniel Ricciardo. They're out. So, wait, what? I'm trying to see if I can get this from a better angle. Okay, right. Hang on. Okay, so here's Raikkonen. Let's have a look at Raikkonen. Driving round. He almost catches them. And then, for some reason, I can't look at Raikkonen's camera after that. Okay, but it's been a it's been calamity is what it's been. Well, that's a bit of a bother. And well, on the plus side, we moved up to P5. On the downside, um, well, we've lost Daniel Ricciardo, so we're probably going to move down to third place in the constructors. By probably, I mean definitely. Shiv Bardas, though, he was in P2. Meanwhile, Felipe Massa trying to come up with a chuff. No. There's about a lap's worth of spare fuel in the car. You won't be able to run in mix three for long with that much, but do burn it if you need to. Here he comes. I think he was ahead of us over the DR uh, behind us on the DRS line as well. We'll take the grass path. That's a favourite path of mine when it comes to our rouge. Yeah, he's got the DRS. Ugh, gotta wait a few laps for the prime tyres to come into their own and the weight to kick in and everything. We may be here for a little while before any advantage come for the prime tyres. Jesus Christ, where did his speed come from? She came out of nowhere. Vettel's still in the lead, interesting. Oh, God. This is not going to be an easy race, is it? It's going to be like this for laps, just battling with a Williams. As per usual, lovely corner cut. Hasn't helped at all. It's, it's, it's useless is what it is. Absolutely useless. Want to keep it behind him, maybe? Uh, oh, God. Where does he get the traction from? And is this going to be more than a second? No. Okay. Mm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. No, we're not going to get him on the DRS. Never mind. Mass is gone. Bye. Bye, Felipe. I'll keep in the sixth place on my own for a little bit. Well, we're not, because I just didn't overtake him, Jeff. So it's, uh, it's lap 14 now. Time to pit again. These prime tyres have done nothing but practically ruined my race. Uh, yeah. It's not gone well. At all. Oh, no. Yeah, it's been absolutely abysmal. There's no other word for it. And everything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong on these tyres. We've gained no time on anyone. We've lost time on everyone because that's Massa. 
And now we're going in for options from 15 to 22. Yeah, I don't see this working either. We are practically... We've practically given up trying to get anything from this race. We were pole, if you remember. Now we're nowhere near it. Oh, 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 oh. No. Where are you? Why are there bits of front wing everywhere? There, down the inside. Yes, P5. Oh no, he's coming back. He's mounting the attack. He wants P6 back. I'm being overtaken by Primes. Ah, oh, well, that hasn't gone well. Ah, right, here we go. Bust up chicane. Next stop. Here we go. Come on. Let's get him. Light break. Mine now. Yes. Yes. I think we're in safe. I think we're in safe hands for a little while. Ah, but a cheating never goes amiss. Oh, uh, well, that was a mistake. I regret nothing, because in a few laps time, he will have already caught up to me. Yes, Rosberg's got a problem. I think he's missing a front wing. Oh, he's just going... No, he's just going... So I'm... S what? I... Uh, let me, let's just take a look at this, how this move was legal. Rosberg is just... There's no other word for it. Driving slow. Completely on the track. Up his inside. What's he doing? In what manner is that illegal? Ah, fine. We'll flash back from here. Yeah, we'll flash back here and... Can I overtake him now? Oh, I can't because we're under yellow flags. Yes, got him on the green. I think Rosberg's got a problem. ERS has a problem. <gasps> How old has got the same problem? Yes! Podium! The Mercedes have run out of bless. Uh, it's like... Oh, that's difficult. I don't know if they had a spin or something. But they had problems. And that is P3 for us. Thank you, Mercedes, for running into a problem. Ahead, Perez, Maldonado, Calamity... Everything's happened on the second to last lap that could have happened. Perez lost his back end. We're losing our back end. And that was certainly something to behold. Anyway, second to last lap. And we are comfortably in P3 right now. The, the Mercedes are having a lot of problems. We are having none right now, aside from the tyres, which we have to try and preserve till the end of the race. So, I think P3 might just be in the bag, which is great, because that means gaining on... Hamilton and Rosberg in the championship. 15 points. They are going to get points. They're just not going to get as many as us. I'd say we'll close down maybe 6 or 7 on them if we're lucky. Hopefully they don't finish in the points. I think they've both just gone into the pits. And if they have, then that's tremendous. And now I've just got to not get a puncture. I've jinxed myself. Oh my god, please. Come on. Come on, just make it to the end. I'm driving at my Russia pace right now just to make sure these tires don't go pop. Vettel wins. That's going to be a nice one-two for Ferrari. That's going to elevate them ahead of us in the constructors. But the constructors right now I don't give a toss about. It's the driver's championship that worries me. And I think, actually if things go well, we could be like three points behind them if they both haven't scored points. But I think they are going to... I don't think we're going to run into a problem. Thankfully, that's Carlos Sainz and not Felipe Massa. Heading into the bus stop, Chicane now on the final lap. I think, I don't think, even if we have a trouble, Massa's going to get us in time. We're going to come across the line. And it is going to be P3 at Belgium. Holy shit! Nice pirouette. There we go. Ferrari, Ferrari, and Renault. Those are the engines that occupy the, the front three. Amazing to see no Mercedes there again. Celebration times. Where will we be in the Drivers' Championship after this is done? We will find out. Sebastian Vettel with a very nice win there. Well deserved. He completely raped the field. And Kimi Raikkonen did a good job to get second. 
Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. It's been a good day's racing, but it's been an exceptional day for Daniel Fiat, who's taken home the win. Yes, definitely. It was a brilliant race and one that you can tell the fans really enjoyed. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling instalment of this Formula One season. All right, so we finished a long way off the pace. And, uh, well, okay, that, that, where did they finish? Oh, McLaren Honda got eighth. Hamilton was fifth. Bollocks. Where's Rosberg? Rosberg was seventh. That's not bad. That's bad, even. And, okay, those are the three that dropped out. Blah, 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 blah. Drivers' Championship, 13 points off them. Not good enough, not good enough. Ugh. All right, well, we got a lot of work to do, and we're going to be down in third now, yeah. And now we've got a lot of work to do heading into Monza, which isn't going to be good to us. This is going to be a difficult last few races of the season. I mean, there's still seven to go, but, uh, oh, this isn't going to be easy. Anyway, that is episode of Cree Mode. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I don't know what things are going to entail in Monza, but, God, it's not going to be easy. Anyway, that is episode of Cree Mode. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, and ta -ra.